I recall what Abraham Lincoln said, give me six hours to chop down a tree and I will spend the first four sharpening the ax. Digital transformation is the sharpening of that ax. We need to know that digital transformation is not an IT project. It's a new road that organization choose to achieve its goals. Hello and welcome to a whole new episode of Engadi CX. I'm your host, Jeremy D'Souza, and today you folks are in for an absolute treat. We've got a digital transformation expert with us on the show today. So, here goes. We have the pleasure of welcoming Samal Adani to the interview series today. But before I uh, introduce him to you guys, let's begin with a quick introduction of Engadi. Ingadi is the world's leading multilingual no-code chatbot platform available across 14 channels with 30,000 bots created across 186 countries in every domain and use case. Ingadi has also been recognized as a top platform by Inc.com, TechWorld, CIO, Good Firms, and many others. We run the Ingadi blog, the video channel, the Ingadi CX podcast, receiving upwards of 300,000 visitors annually. And now for our amazing, amazing guest, Wissam Ladani is a qualified computer engineer with management qualifications and a seasoned IT professional. He has over 25 years of experience, including four years of international tenure in Brazil and Kazakhstan. He's an expert in transforming poor performing IT departments into business enablers. He's passionate about building IT strategy across different countries and cultures and has been recognized as a top CEO in MENA by Titans Magazine. He's currently pursuing his PhD while working as the group CIO of GV Auto. Welcome to the show, Vissam. We're really, really thrilled to have you with us today. Hi, Jeremy. It's a pleasure being with you today. Thank you. Okay, Vissam, uh, let's dive into this. Yes, please. Let's go ahead. Okay, so my first question to you is, how do you define performance metrics in an IT department? And what steps can organizations take towards improving these metrics? Okay, um, I believe that although IT uh, performance metrics may differ from organization to another based on its IT structure and its main activities within the organization, but they all can fall under four main categories. The first one, which is related to the operational metrics. Uh, it's mainly related to the core operation of the IT and the back office and how to measure that. So, we, for example, we can just have a couple of KPIs, uh, like measuring the, the online application performance, um, about the application availability, the percentage of SLA met, number of production incidents, the number of unscheduled changes to the production system, um, and number of successful security incidents, for example. Moving to the second category, which is delivery metrics. It focuses mainly on the delivery uh, from the IT side to the customer or the employees of the organization. So uh, one of its major uh, KPIs that needs to be measured, the level of satisfaction, the project satisfaction, as well as the project delivery. So it measures the percentage of project delivered on time. Then we can just measure the project cost. Uh, which is related to the uh, percentage of projects delivered within the cost estimate itself. Um, another one, another important KPI that can be measured is the defect containment, which is related to the percentage of defect contained uh, in the test environment itself before going to the production. Environment. And finally, we will need to measure the percentage of callbacks or what we call it rework during the user acceptance test period. The third uh, category uh, to measure the performance of the IT, it's related to the organizational uh, matrix. And it has many KPIs as well. So the first one is the IT service level survey or feedback. Usually we have here in our organization um, a survey or feedback that's being filled by the business users uh, evaluating the performance of the IT or the service level they have received from the IT. Another matrix is the IT employees turnover. 
Um, another one, and another important one as well, which is the number of IT employees per FTE or full-time employees inside the, the company. The last one, the last category, which is related to the financial itself. Uh, so one of the important ones here under the umbrella of the financials is the budget variance. So we need always to measure the budget uh, variance uh, compared to the actual expenses of the IT. This is very important. As well as the resource cost. At the end of the day, how much does this uh, uh, resource or the IT resources cost you or cost the organization? And finally, the percentage of cost savings that IT or in-house IT are making to you at the end of the day. This is the four main categories, which I believe that it will exist everywhere inside the organization. Now, the, the second part of your question, how can we enhance this or improve uh, uh, these areas or these methods? I believe that the first one that it's needed, you need to identify as an organization a clear vision and objective. Having a clear and communicated vision and objective, and it's well communicated to the IT as well as to all employees inside the company. The second part is, having a clear plan showing how to achieve these uh, objectives or this vision. So it needs to well identify the digital transformation plan that matches the corporate vision. Third point is the people themselves. So you need to provide the right IT caliber and provide a continuous development program for this caliber. The second point related to providing the required level of coaching, support, and accountability. And finally, after having the plan, the vision, the people, and coaching, you need to have a well-established rewarding model to reward this manpower or the IT once they achieve the, the, uh, their goals. Absolutely. That was really interesting, Sam. Um, my next question to you would be, uh, what role does technology play while transforming a strain or a struggling IT department into a business enabler? This is your first day, Vissam. Exactly. I'll tell you something. Being a business enabler is the top level of the IT maturity. So first, we need to understand where does the IT department stand for now and what prevents it? from moving forward to a higher level. In most cases I've been through, I, IT got stuck in lower maturity level because of two main things. First, either lack of knowledge of no, or know-how. The second one is lack of time due to getting stuck in firefighting uh, in the day-to-day -day activity. So for, for regarding the, the lack of knowledge and know-how, this can be tackled by providing a proper training of new technologies. In addition, IT needs to learn more about the business processes and become more customer-centric. This is very important. IT staff needs to start changing their typical mindset from being concerned only about project delivery, becoming more focused on customer experience. This, this should be the new IT. This should be the, the IT or the new IT, which will be responsible on the digital transformation. On the other hand, to solve the lack of time problem, it doesn't mean always that you need to inject more resources. In most of the cases, IT simply needs to change the way they used to do things. Otherwise, they shouldn't expect to get different results. Relying more and more on cloud-based solutions, for example, like SaaS, PaaS technologies, will provide more time for IT to focus on core operations. In addition, introducing new technologies such as RPA, artificial intelligence, definitely will make the process even more efficient. I believe working on these two points will help transforming the IT department and elevate it to a higher maturity level, becoming a business enabler. I absolutely agree with what you say, especially the point about them starting to focus on customer experience. Customer experience, in my opinion, shouldn't be like 
one department's job because everything that literally every department in your company does has some impact on your customer experience so everyone should be focusing on that completely agree with what you say Vishal um Vishal my next question to you is also along the lines of customer experience how has customer experience been impacted with the introduction of new it technologies and solutions okay this is a really interesting one okay customer experience is usually changing and getting higher every day but the pace of change has accelerated rapidly during the last couple of years many reason caused this rapid change first the technology advancement uh, that we are witnessing every day in the field of mobility artificial intelligence augmented reality rpa internet of things blockchain for example in addition covid-19 pandemic pushed the pace of change to a higher level so today customers are expecting different ways of doing their normal transaction it should be more contactless paperless online secured and hassle free while from the product service perspective they need something that's more custom made to provide a unique experience without any extra time to deliver this is what's all about pretty interesting yes they should be changing their person there what kind of changes uh, does an organization go to during a digital transformation some um both at an organizational level but uh, on a deeper cultural level too okay in order to identify the impact we need first to understand what digital transformation for me digital transformation is about adopting digital processes as tools to achieve business goals i recall what abraham lincoln said give me 6 hours to chop down a tree and i will spend the first four sharpening the axe digital transformation is the sharpening of that axe we need to know that digital transformation is not an it project it's a new road that organization choose to achieve its goals changing roads will impact all stakeholders customers employees and suppliers from the organizational perspective the organization need, may need to build new digital strategy if they don't have already one in place business processes you may need to do reengineering for the current business processes finally creating new set of business kpis it will be mandatory to have a new set of kpis that cope with the new change that you make from the cultural perspective digital transformation will create and eliminate jobs this may impact the culture creating more resistance and fear of change so we need to handle this and be prepared for that on the other hand as digital transformation tends to make organizations more resilient and flexible the internal culture should be ready to cope with this change so a proper training uh, is needed to be conducted to change the cultural mindset to let human resources focus on futuristic goals while the digital tools take care of the present one last change and probably the most important one in my view which is the paradigm shift digital transformation will create new opportunities automatically a different culture a new vision will follow what you couldn't achieve at first is now the new standard as we say sky is the limit with a paradigm shift that pushes boundaries and expectations of what business is capable capable of we, we will see some new genius innovation and new opportunities that will change the future completely this is how i see it. absolutely and some uh, in my opinion one way of uh, in which a company could manage this entire culture shift so let me know if you agree with this um 
I think they should be telling the uh, employees how these new technologies will actually allow them to focus on higher level things rather than the monotonous routine things which they've been doing, which is ruining their entire um, work life over there. Exactly. This is very important. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, how important has it become for organizations to implement and adopt the latest technologies? And how will it help in improving the overall effectiveness and efficiency of the organization? Okay. Um, technology is the key for any digital transformation. There is no doubt about that. But we need to understand that digital transformation is not about adopting the latest technologies only. It's about selecting the proper technologies to achieve organizational goals with the highest ROI. And this is exactly the role of the CIO or the head of technology inside the organization. So we need to know that latest technologies are already designed, taking into consideration the best practice and the experiences of the organization who went through their digital transformation journey. So given the fact that digital transformation goals is all about changing the organization to be more resilient, flexible, effective, and cost-efficient, making the right selection of the use technologies during the digital transformation journey is almost half the way toward achieving this goal. Absolutely. It's not just about uh, chasing new shiny little technology out there. Um, Sam, I'm sure the audience wants this from you. Could you share some extra thoughts? Anything from the best CIO in Mina that would help the audience? Um, there is another thing that uh, I would like to share with everyone, and I need to highlight that. I see that a, it's important for organizations to know that digital transformation is not any more an option or luxury. It's the only way for organization to survive especially after COVID-19 pandemic, deciding to go for your digital transformation journey is not enough. It's all about when will you start and the time to finish. Because I believe that digital transformation will be the only way for organizations to secure their market position for the future. Absolutely, you need to get on to digital transformation if you want to stick around in the future and not go the way of Blockbuster, right? Exactly. Um, there you have it, folks. You have it from the best CIO in MENA. You have it from Vissam Adani. Vissam, we were really, really excited to have you on the show and your insights were absolutely brilliant. I'm sure everyone's going to get some amazing value out of this. Where can they reach you, Vissam? Okay, definitely I'm available uh, through my LinkedIn account, they can reach me over the email and I will be happy even to help anyone if they need assistance, they need to know how to move forward in the digital transformation for their organization and I will be happy to provide this support. Okay, that sounds amazing. Guys, reach out to Wissam. He is more than ready to help you out. Don't feel shy. Bengali CX will be back with a new episode and a new expert really soon. So stay tuned, guys. We'll see you around in the next one.